Hi ghosties, this is my ghostie and today I am literally going to go through the items from the Mr. Bunny set. She is not magic of love on this channel. She is called Mr. Bunny, alright? Got that clear. So Mr. Bunny, she was actually difficult to match with some other items, but then I figured why not use Sasa Starcia Stas it's Stasi, isn't it? Stasi. Stasi is actually a pavilion suit. Right, I got it. So Stasi. And the shade of purple that Stasi uses is similar to the Mr. Bunny's purple. So overall, we could literally use Stasi for something, finally. Okay, so where is her beautiful, magnificent glory set? There she is. I'm gonna go through the pose first and then we're just gonna jump down. Alright, so I'm going to do what I would do and do it bit by bit. So the hair. Okay, my personal opinion, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I do like it if it, would, if it was with um, like some sort of like a sleepy head kind of like theme suit. You know, when you just get out of bed and your hair's messy and you look really cute anime wise. I mean, everybody in reality don't look cute when they first wake up. We all had that relation. But with this hair, we could actually make a sleepy head look. But if it's something like witchy and, you know, kind of depressing, even though that's her story, her story was definitely depressing and so stupid. Um, which you can't disagree on the stupid part. I mean, everyone has their, their favorite genres. So, yeah. Um, but this hair does not make sense with the suit and it does not make sense with the story. Because with the story, she sounds more like a woman other than a childlike sort of like outfit. So, if it's going to be based on the story look, then this is not for the story. I would, yeah, I would rather just expect this to be like childlike, messy, sleepy things like that. Okay, face another thing. She wasn't like happy at first that the prince fell in well magically fell in love with her it wasn't like from the true heart it was from the spell that she well the scroll actually put him into so the prince actually fell in love with her and she was literally challenging him throughout the whole story she was challenging him because she didn't trust herself and what she actually is so overall she was not happy throughout the whole story and it was more of like a serious to sad like kind of emotion from what she's trying to do with the prince and the smile is literally just rare at this point and I don't know why she's smiling at all if like I said if it's based on story and how it would look then this makeup well just just leave out the eyes I want the eyes a bit more like sad as well and the, the smile would be like kind of like a frown um, but I do like this makeup but it doesn't suit the story and what it's actually telling us because it just looks like she's happy and she's a child you know I'm, I'm not exactly bashing it I love the look but it's not suiting the story at all and it's like okay I'm very questionable as to why she's smiling and why she's a child Okay, this thing. So this actually does have a link to the story. It's where she spilt the potion on her dress. And this kind of resembles the spill. And that the squirrel literally got the, the hem from the dress and then gave it to the prince. I'm not too sure. I kind of forgot what the story was about. I don't have a sharp memory. So with that, with that being said, she was happy that he turned around and begged for her hand basically i hate romances so as that's been said of course that's where the smile comes from but that smile actually just lasted for, for that one item which it was the um the bottle <laughs> wolf ears okay so this actually does have a relation with the story but i'm happy that they agree because we could use these ears on a snow wolf set but overall, they don't suit well with the actual outfit of the of the choice. 
Um, if they were literally like black or white, then it would be very suitable. But then again, it just wouldn't suit because why is there a bunny on a freaking ornament and on her dress? Why is it a bunny and not a wolf? I just don't get what logic this is. But anyway, it's like on the inside, she's a beast and the ears can't be hidden without the hat. So she uses the hat to hide her true self. And with the spell that she uses and cast on herself is just to hide her true identity and to feel loved from someone. And then she fell madly in love with the prince, but the prince didn't love her at first until she had yeah, the potion and stuff like that, blah blah blah. And overall, it's like, it doesn't make sense. What beast is she? Like, I think bears are the most terrifying beasts that we have in the woods, other than wolves. Even though wolves are most scary because they come in packs. And she's a lone wolf, and lone wolves aren't really that dangerous. So, what's logic? <laughs> um, this is like my negative point. I'm trying to come up with positives, but it still doesn't make any sense. Okay, top hat, which I really love. Um, this top hat, actually, I would literally use this for the um, Undertaker kind of like decoration. And then again, it still doesn't explain as to why she's wearing a massive hat. You know, I did say that it hides her true identity, which left behind. Um, but it's massive. <laughs> like, compared with the ears, they're not that big. But with the hat, it's like, wow. <laughs> but I still love the hat. I love big ornaments on characters, not on myself. But I really like the decoration of this hat and the whole, like, fabric, the bunny. Again, what's with the bunnies? I don't understand where the bunnies come from. There is no information about them or that the bunny was her favourite animal. I just don't know. Wolves eat bunnies. Is that her favourite food? I'm not too sure. But, you know, I am... Without bashing it based on the story, I really would like to use this hat a lot. But then again, there's less purples and blacks on this game. So it's hard to actually look for anything relating to the theme. Boosh. And the pose, which is absolutely adorable. I mean, I really could... I want to use just the pose without the ornaments, you know, attached to it. But it's whatever. I kind of like it. That's what I have to say. And her bottle is really sparkly too. And uh, I just love it. I really do. And it's massive for her hand. So why does she need a massive bottle? I mean, what, how does the prince not notice the massive bottle? What is this? Anyway, let's, let's just move on. So the default pose is. So the default pose don't even have that liquid. But you know what? I feel like to like actually splash it on. Boosh, 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 boosh. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Boosh. Okay, let's go with the ornament. Again, there is nothing I can say, but why is there a massive bunny balloon holding whatever that is? And it all doesn't have to make sense because it's all anime. It doesn't make sense. Um it just reminds me that she's a fairy, not a witch. Because how small she is, and she's carrying a bottle, it reminds me of Tinkerbell, because she carries a lot of things for Peter Pan. Um, but I, like again, I love the sparkly effect in the bottle and how glassy and glossy it looks. Oh my god, I'm a sucker for that. Ears, which I already talked about. And let's talk about the dress. <gasps> The dress and I love the little details here it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland you know I, I'm surprised that she is called magic of love I was expecting mr. bunny out of like for real I thought she was called mr. bunny <laughs> dreams are there to be living with <gasps> but I like how there's a balloon on a belt and the whole decoration with the dress and how you know layered and fabric and beautifully kind of looks i really would like to see this in reality okay let's just move this ball the socks i am a sucker for leather strapped socks oh, i wish i had some in reality so i could actually dress up like seal from black butler even though i don't like the character i freaking hate his personality but overall he is that sassy british kid that gets what he wants 
but you know what it, i don't care it's the guy it's the guy so these socks actually reminds me of shield phantom hive so there's that you could literally use these socks for him and if you're trying to dress like him i think we need a lot more items for male and a suit from a male just to dress up like him even though where is that pirate set i saw the pirate set in the past like way back in 2017 and he looked more like shield phantom hive than anything on love nikki okay the shoesies i love them so much and i could actually use this on gothic lolita set and again the the purple on it kind of kills it because it's not all jet black but overall i just don't mind it i love the fabric up the knee well up the ankle to the knee okay gloves which we need to take off this dress so the gloves is covered with jewels and it's leveled back it's not leather it's more like a felt kind of like look or silky it looks silky black so i can't say much about it it makes her hands look very tight and neat you know i love it when people actually paint on their hands with black acrylic paint and it just makes their hands look like this small and pointy i just find it really interesting to be honest all right let's just put the dress back on the hat which we already talked about and i think that's it right that is it that is it everyone and let's just change things up i want something to match the story so I'm just gonna be right back. I only changed the hair and the makeup to actually suit the story. So as I said before, it was more like a woman telling this, her side of the story and the lack of smile and enjoyment for the prince falling in love with her. It was more of like a sad story at the end, which is typical of Nikki, by the way. They don't believe in happy endings, which, thank you, I am so sick of happy endings, I don't like them. Overall, I just love this. Um, the hair is from the drummer set, by the way, um, the post version. Boosh, Beat of Abyss. So, yeah, I think it's a nice hair, and I think it's suitable for the dress and the theme of it, because she's a witch, and this more is like... It's super long, white, and it reminds me of like a witch, <laughs> stereotypically anyway. Um, I wish I had witch, witch Hecate's hat, you know, but I don't, sadly. And the face is from Marionette Grice, I think, or what's her name? Black Rose, Black Rose, definitely Black Rose. I'm not too sure which one this is from, I kind of forgot, whoops. Okay. Black Rose or Marinette Grace? I'm gonna go with Black Rose. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna punch myself in the stomach. Ready? And we're almost there. <laughs> Dream Haunted is flipping. <gasps> oh my god. I'm never right about something, and this is my true flipping happiness. No, I'm sorry, joking. I hate being right. <laughs> I'm so miserable. Uh, it's not even a problem, it's literally just me. I am a miserable human being on the planet, if you must. Alright, I want to get that liquid, because that suits the story as well. I don't know where it is. Whoops. Ah, I uh, found it. That is a surprising shook. Boosh, there we go. So, there we have it. We have the, um, the witch. Oh, my version of it even though I only changed like two things but then again I'm happy with it have a nice life <laughs>